Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name of course is Chris Gutera and uh, it's been a couple of months since you've seen my face out here recording a video on the property, the ranch, whatever you want to call it. And uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, last video was when we made the workbench and then the next project was going to be framing up this concrete slab into our shop slash covered awning entertainment area and we ran into a small little hiccup and that's the reason why we haven't done a video out here and that's the reason why this bad boy is still not framed up so the hiccup that we ran into was we noticed and I don't know why it took us so long to notice this but <laughs> we noticed that this the, the the edge of this concrete slab over here the back side of where the shop is going to be is literally right along the fence line like the fence line is right on the edge of the concrete as a matter of fact this corner see if I can do this this corner you can see this is the fence this is the concrete slab fence slab we have an issue we have somewhat of an issue so the edge of the property line well actually you can look at it here I don't know if you can tell this post is on the other side of the concrete slab It's on this side of the concrete slab so if we were to wall this up part of my shop the back end of the shop is going to be on the other side of the property line so I was out here the other day um, doing some work just kind of cleaning up the concrete slab making you know checking everything out I just come out here probably I think I come out here just about every weekend just for you know sometimes 10 15 minutes just to kind of check out everything make sure nothing's kind of sideways or anything out here and when I was out here the last time the guy that sold us this property um, was actually out here he was doing something over there he's got a duplex that he's building and finishing out and so on and so forth but he came over here and asked me if there was any questions I had about the property introduced himself we only knew each other as names on a contract and so on and so forth and um, I brought up to his attention that hey this is my intentions with this concrete slab out here I want to frame it up and create a you know build it into a shop I said but the problem is this daggum concrete comes right up to the freaking edge of the daggum fence line. I said, so here's my intentions. It's gonna be a single slope coming back, the, the low end coming back to the back, single slope roof, and I wanna run some gutters along the back end of the, uh, the shop because my intention is to actually capture rainwater and use rainwater <coughs> for part of our build out here and uh, I said but if I do that then my gutters are gonna be hanging over the fence line anywhere it depends on how big my gutters are but it's gonna be hanging over anywhere from six to eight to nine ten inches into the next property over I said that's a problem I said if it, it, if you have a problem with that then you know what do we do he said it's, it's no problem he said just get with your realtor have her type up a legal document I'll sign it that way we can put that in with the paperwork if I ever sell this property next to us whoever buys it they can't have a problem with it it's in the contract it's part of the deal it's part of the survey it's a done deal they can't they can't grab and complain about it I thought oh okay and at that time I said you said if you ever sell that property what does that mean what are you talking about he said oh it, I mean you never know with, with stuff like this but I mean I, I it's not on the market I'm not trying to sell or anything like that but if I ever were to that way you don't have to worry about you never know who's gonna buy this property you never know who's gonna be your new neighbor they may have issues and this will just solve that problem they can't have an issue with it if it's in the in the survey and in the paperwork I said okay that sounds good so <laughs> Fast forward a week and a half after that, all of a sudden we get a text from our realtor that says, hey, so-and-so wants to know if you want to buy that property next to your property. He said, you guys were out there talking and um, mentioned something about getting something typed up as far as like, 
you know something overhanging into the next property over and uh he said you mentioned you would buy it if you if, if it was for sale so fast forward a couple of a uh, couple of months and now instead of <laughs> having to worry about this fence line being at the back of the shop and having to type up a legal document and worrying about whoever's going to buy this property in the future we bought it <laughs> so now we have another decent chunk of land so that solves that actually solves more than one problem it was a very expensive solution to the problem of having to have a legal document typed up to make sure that the uh, that nobody ever had a problem with our gutters overhanging into their property it's a very expensive way to fix it just buy the property but it also fixes another not really a problem not really a, a an issue but over here at the edge of the concrete slab on this side of the property is also a utility pole that is now powered by moi and that's what we were gonna you know tie into well not knowing who was ever gonna own this property as you can see it's on this side of the fence not ever knowing who was gonna own this property we didn't know if they were gonna have an issue with you know us using this utility pole for our property when it's on their property so that kind of fixes two problems two problems potential problems so basically we just future proofed having any issues out here so now not only do we have the 21 and a half that you guys already know about now we have this I think this is it's right at three acres everybody wants to get all technical it's 2.9 it's 3.1 whatever it's three acres so now we have this three acre lot that is literally connected to our 21 and a half so now we have closer to it's closer to 25 acres so what are we going to do with this other than just the fact that we bought it to future proof any issues we may potentially have in the future with with awnings hanging over on property lines and and, and power lines and stuff like that well we are going to fairly quickly a lot quicker than we were planning on even doing the shop which we are still going to do that especially now that we own this property and we don't have to worry about anything right in this area which is right next to the here's the concrete slab there's the jeep all that kind of stuff right right here we're gonna put a garden my wife and I have been talking about it for I literally been talking about it for about a year about having a garden somewhere and now that we have almost 25 acres kind of makes sense to let's do it let's go for it right so we're gonna build a little garden there we're just something simple at first we're just gonna be growing some bell peppers potatoes uh, tomatoes radishes just to kind of get us started then we'll move into doing like maybe some cauliflower some broccoli uh, what else maybe some green beans she she's stoked about trying to do some strawberries and stuff like that so we've been researching it a lot and in the interim if, if you noticed earlier in the video if I panned out you see this big roof all this is, is just a big metal roof it's got wood framing underneath it it just it was just sitting out here and I thought man that's an eyesore I gotta figure out what the heck to do with it well I have an idea for that as well <laughs> so since we're doing our garden over there I am actually out here right now I'm going to take this metal off of this frame because I'm gonna repurpose this metal what I'm gonna do with that metal is create a roof basically to capture rainwater since I don't have a shop just yet I need water to water the garden we have a well out here a pump and all that kind of stuff right but it just intrigues the heck out of me to capture rainwater so I'm gonna repurpose this metal take it all apart build a frame put the metal back on it to the dimensions that I want and that is going to be what's going to be capturing our rainwater and 
going to have a whole system. It's going to be PVC'd down into some rain barrels. The whole shebang. I'll get into that into another video. But I wanted to give you guys somewhat of an update of what's going on out here. And the reason why we haven't framed up our shop yet is we ran into an issue. And we fixed the issue <laughs> in a very, very expensive way instead of just getting a piece of paper typed up and signed by a couple of people we decided to buy three more acres of land next to our land so we don't know yet if we're going to keep this fence line up here all the way down most likely will for now i don't want to make any kind of rash decision decisions like that as far as like let's just tear the fence down because what if we do end up getting um so horses out here or some cattle or something like that this will literally give us an option to move if the cattle are over there or the goats are over there we can literally move them onto this property shut this gate let this grow up a little bit while they're over here grazing and so on and so forth just we just have the property that we can flip them back and forth but for right now, since we don't know what we're doing, we're gonna leave the fence up. We're gonna build a garden back here. I'm gonna have a roof capturing rainwater into some rain barrels, uh, some 55 gallon uh, plastic drums. Been doing a ton of research on capturing rainwater. So I'm really excited about that project. But I think that's it for now. I've been going for well over 10 minutes now. This was just gonna be a short update. But again, I did wanna give you guys an update. It's been a while by now we should have already had the shop built and so on and so forth but like i said we ran into an issue and it took a little while for offers to be be accepted contracts to be signed and everything to be finalized you guys know how it is whenever you're buying something like that so it just took a little bit of time and it's actually been done for <laughs> uh it's actually been finalized for a little while we just i just been lazy as far as getting out here and recording any content so there you guys go not only do we have the 21 and a half beautiful acres that you guys have have come to see and know and and see drone footage of and so on and so forth now we have this three acre section over here as well it's going to be a garden water rainwater capturing that project is actually got put ahead of framing up the shop so next thing we're going to do is a garden and capturing some rainwater so not gonna say how soon I'm gonna get another video up for that but just know that video is coming I apologize it's been so long since I've done a video out here to give you guys an update I think if you're a part of the discord link will be in the description below if you're not if you're a part of the discord I've been saying for what a couple months I got I got an update I need to give you guys for the land I got an update I need to give you guys for the land I got an update I need to give you guys for the land here's your update I finally got out here to record it so I'm gonna let you guys go cut the video. Uh, I'm gonna go over there and start uh, taking apart that metal so that I can start repurposing that. And uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Again, I apologize it's been so long, but now we can start moving forward with some of our projects. Now, unless we buy, there's another three acres over that way, but I'm done buying. This is it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the update. Look in the description box below for any of the links over to any of my other social medias if you want to check me out there. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.